An unexpected pool party at Sri Lanka's presidential palace. But President Gotabaya Rajapaksa was not hosting. He fled the Colombo residence just minutes before tens of thousands of protesters overran it on July 9th. After initially resisting the people's call, Rajapaksa resigned shortly after arriving in Singapore, having fled Sri Lanka. The dramatic events are the culmination of months of protests. Sri Lankans are enraged by the economic crisis and the Rajapaksa clan's incompetence and alleged corruption. The South Asian nation is facing hyperinflation and critical shortages of essentials like food, fuel and medicine. But how exactly did Sri Lanka get here? Seventy-three-year-old Gotabaya became president in 2019, a member of a clan that has dominated politics in the country for decades. Brother Mahinda has served as both president and prime minister before quitting politics just a couple of months ago amid the unrest. Various members of their family were given positions in government. The Rajapaksas have been accused of chronic mismanagement of the country's finances and corruption over the years. Sri Lankans have endured months of medicine and food shortages, electricity blackouts, fuel stations have run out of petrol and diesel. How many people gathered here, they are shouting, they need, we don't have fuel here, we don't have gas here. Now the medical supplies are very low and the food very low. Sri Lanka defaulted on its $51 billion foreign debt in April and has been in talks with the IMF for a possible bailout for months. The country is now also facing hyperinflation. Many goods, if they can be found, have become unaffordable for most. The UN says three quarters of the population have reduced their food intake as a result. Protests erupted in April 2022. Sri Lankans defied nationwide curfews under a state of emergency. People were killed and injured.
won the whole Rajapaksa clan out because they are so, so corrupt. Uh, they have been eating into Sri Lanka like a caterpillar eating into some fruit or a leaf. <laughs> So in time to come, I think they have to fall in line. I mean, they can't go on there because they already, people got frustrated, the posters got frustrated, the general public got frustrated. So obviously they have to leave. There is no other way. Gotabaya's resignation has been accepted by the parliament. He emailed his notice from Singapore where he fled to seek refuge. Prime Minister Ranil Rakramasinghe has been sworn in as acting president, but many of the demonstrators see him as complicit and also want him to go. Parliament will meet in mid-July to elect an MP to succeed Rajapaksa for the rest of his term.